What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. I just realized it is a little off. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of maintenance on the Civivi Thug 2. It does feel pretty smooth, but I have a feeling I took my Sincut Seychis apart and it was pretty dry. It had very minimal lube. What I'm going to be doing today is taking this apart just to show everyone how you can do this very easily. Do the maintenance on it. Make sure that it has proper amount of lube and put it back together and see how everything comes together. So let's go ahead and check. Make sure everything is centered. That I don't have anything that's an issue in advance. I love the fact that this has a captive pivot. Tools and oil and everything are going to be linked down below. The scout tool with the bearing on the top has the three quarter inch wee bit, wee hot bits, and then the Kershaw tool. I picked up the wee hot bits that fit for the um, smaller size diameter. I think it's three eighths, I'm not 100% sure. Those are all linked down below. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and use our T6 to go ahead and get the pocket clip out of the way. Really do like this pocket clip. I hope this is a trend of how the pocket clips will be coming in future from Civivi. This one is much smoother and has a slightly less aggressive angle. Still a little hot in, um, in hand, but not awful. There we go. Keep track of this because, nope, screw sizes are the same. So that means that, yep, it does have the T8 for everything else. So go ahead and start to loosen all of your bolts. I go in order to make sure that I'm not straining any of the liners and or my carta. Once I have them fairly loose, you can go ahead and proceed with removing in whichever order you prefer. Let me go ahead and loosen this just a little bit more. Yeah, it should be ready to pop out. This is gonna be relatively straightforward if you've never done it before. Maybe the Thug 2 is um, a knife that you maybe have a couple of in your collection and you haven't had to do any maintenance yet. So really this is going to be straightforward and easy to do. Go ahead and use your T8 to get all of your hardware out of the way and set it aside safely so you don't bump into it. Go ahead and remove your pivot screw. Mine does not have any Loctite on it. I might throw just a touch on there to prevent it coming loose. Yeah, it's pretty dry. This is what would what happened with my Sincut Chi Chis, the button lock that I did here recently. Really like that. Um, no, not a lot of oil at all. Came really dry, which is really surprising. Usually Civivi knives come with plenty of lube. Make note that your closed or flush side is on the outside of the actual blade. So when you go to put that together, yeah, it's pretty dry, surprisingly so, and there's a little bit of dirt down in there, so I'm glad I'm actually getting this taken apart. I'm used to seeing Civivis coming very clean and pretty well lubed, especially Elementums. I had a brass Elementum scale, or an Elementum with brass scales, and it came really lubed, like they did not want that to corrode at all. So we're gonna clean all the dirt and debris off there. Not too bad, just a little bit of dirt, as you can see right there. That's what I like to use the light colors for to see what I'm dealing with. Yeah, a little bit of dirt going on there. Hold everything in place and just flip it over to get that other bearing out. You can see, let's see here. We'll use a clean spot of the cloth. Throw that down in there. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Yeah, a little bit of dirt. So we good thing we're taking this apart and cleaning it. So what I'll do also is I'll go ahead and clean the pivot and the skeletonized scales or skeletonized liners clean those off really good take any oil that's on the micarta scales off we'll go ahead and clean everything off here as well now what are we going to do for oil pick your favorite oil really doesn't matter as long as you have a good quality oil that isn't going to run all over the place i prefer hoppers gun oil if this does well on my pew pew it's surely going to do really well on my slicey dices. So I'm just gonna take, while I have it here, and just put a little dab on the ceramic ball. What I like to do is I like to take any excess from that and just wipe it on the pivot. I don't really squeeze too much. I'll take a triangle, just do three sides here. I think I did that a little far out, but it'll work its way in. Then I'll take a little and put it in the ceramic balls. And then to make sure I don't have any access, I'll rub it on. 
to make sure that it's nice and lubed and remember the outside not the cup side but the flat side goes away from the knife you can go ahead and put your blade back in and then you're going to repeat the same thing with the other bearing you're going to go ahead and just put a couple of dabs in there rub it in to make sure that your excess oil comes off just in case you did a little too much yeah I can feel the balls moving through really smoothly same thing make sure your flat side is facing out like it did with the factory scales um, I would also recommend that you take your finger and dab your ceramic ball just to make sure that you don't end up with any lock stick so this way you have the ball lubed up and then you don't have the lock lubed up creating a lock stick so that's a good way to lube it without having too much oil left over so that'll be plenty of oil same thing here it's far enough away from the liner lock where you can go ahead and get your triangle on the ball track that was forming already that should be plenty you probably don't even need to do that but I like to do that just to make sure I have plenty of oil all right let's go ahead and seat everything down nicely there we go everything is in place I give a little pull of the lock bar just to make sure that I don't feel any stick in case I need to clean it then you can throw your scale back over top I always start with getting the pivot in there first I recommend with it locked out that you tighten it it makes it easier to center especially with the captive pivot because you're gonna want to actually pause <laughs> rewind I don't think it had any Loctite on here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw just a smidge of Loctite on there. Uh, now that it's been maintenanced in oil, I shouldn't have to do this again for about six months unless I, you know, it's really dirty from something that I've used it on. Just a dab out towards the tip, guys. You do not need to go crazy with this Loctite. Once it settles, it should lock up fairly well. Just taking any access off the tip. I got a little bit on my finger and then go ahead drop I would go ahead at this point and just drop it in you don't again I don't think that you need much Loctite on here go ahead and pop your tool in there <laughs> and just get it started once you feel it start to tighten stop you don't want to over tighten at this point you want to make sure that you have the same tension going all the way through the knife through the scale just to make sure you're not warping or bending anything the skeletonized liner or the micarta scales take good care of your stuff and it'll last you a long long time go ahead same thing here once you start to feel it tighten up go ahead and stop get your last scale I mean your last screw into the scale and then you can bring this one since the other two are kind of holding it in place you can go ahead and bring that all the way just past hand tight I don't recommend an over tighten it because the three screws on here are going to be plenty now with this one here I recommend tightening it down a little bit more force than hand tight once you get like a little past hand tight and you start to feel that it's getting really tight check to see if you have any blade play and check to see where your centering is so we're a little off center and we have a little bit of blade play so we're gonna go ahead and tighten it down just a little bit more now we're centered now we have no blade play so we're right where we want to be everything feels smoother I actually think I might be able to back it off just a touch so we'll back it off just a little I did probably go a little far initially huh everything looks good on lockup no blade play still centered let's check that action one more time oh yeah drop shut action I hit, the, I hit the table guys hold on let's try that again yep there we go everything's nice and centered let's go ahead and get our t6 go ahead and grab our deep carry pocket clip let's grab this screw that's trying to run away Well, since it wants so badly to be magnetized to the, um, oh, this one came out. Hold on. Let me grab that one. 
Sorry, guys. This one's giving me a hard time. Go figure. All right. So we got these going back in. These are going into your skeletonized liners, guys. You do not need to over-tighten this. Just a little hand tightening. Make it to where you can kind of feel that it's locked up. And once you start to get a good amount of resistance, you can stop. So you don't need to over-tighten these. You don't want to strip them. You don't want to strip the liner. All it's, The two screws work together to hold that in place. So everything's back together. Going to check it one more time, make sure everything feels nice and smooth and lubed. Let's go ahead and give it a reverse flick. Yep, everything feels nice. Lock up feels good. Got a little hint of blade play forming. That, that's probably normal. Just give it a little twist, a little tiny adjustment. Probably couldn't even see that. Just the littlest amount makes a difference. Yep, so nice and locked up. What I'm going to do at this point, if it's centered, I'm going to go ahead and let it sit. This will cure. Everything will be locked in place, and we will be good to go. I hope this video helped you. If it did, if you could do me a favor, leave a like. Consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Don't forget to turn that notification bell to also get alerts whenever future videos drop. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate all the support. I hope all of you have a fantastic week. And until next time, peace.